So you enter into the state of ihram. It is sunnah. And when I say sunnah, this means you should do it, but if you don't, then there is no sin, and your hajj is complete. You all know sunnah means you should do it. If you don't do it, no problem. It is sunnah to take a bath before wearing the ihram. Now, on the plane, you cannot take a bath. So you take a bath basically before you leave your house, and that will do the job. It is sunnah to uh, purify yourself completely, which means you shave your pubic hair and you trim your nails before you enter into ihram. Why? Because you're not allowed to do that in ihram. So you want to be pure in that state. It is sunnah to perfume yourself before entering ihram. In other words, when you take the bath, you, before you enter ihram, then you put some perfume on yourself. Not a problem. You put the perfume on your body, not on your ihram. Okay, you may have perfume on you, you should have perfume on you. This is sunnah. Aisha says, I was the one who put perfume on the body of the Prophet ﷺ before he entered into ihram. Right? So it is sunnah to have perfume on your body before you enter into ihram. All of this is sunnah. You're on the plane, you might not be able to do all of these sunnahs. You will not lose anything uh, of hajj because this is sunnah. It is sunnah to pray two rak'at after you enter into ihram. If you cannot then uh, and on the plane you may pray sitting down, not a problem. You may pray sitting down because this is a nafil prayer. It's a sunnah prayer, it's not fard prayer. So if you're going on the plane, you may pray sitting down two rak'at after you enter into ihram.